For those of you that are new, every single week, Organo puts someone that has a million dollar plus business uh, to share some of the really inside stories of how to build the life of your dreams. So whatever that means to you, let's jump off in some strategies that can help you launch whatever you want. So I like the idea of creating a, a millionaire school and, and what a beautiful picture of a diamond. In fact, that looks like a pretty perfect diamond. And that's actually our goal, to find the diamond with their, in everybody. I, I think of a story of Michelangelo and, and his statue of David. And he saw this marble there that a lot of people had rejected and it, it had some defects in it. And somehow he created probably the most valuable sculpture uh, in, in the history of art. And someone asked Michelangelo, you know, what, how in the world did you create it out of that? He says, you know what, I just chiseled away at everything that wasn't David. And that's what I got. So that's actually what our life is all about. Get rid of the stuff that we don't need, the stuff that doesn't serve us, the stuff that doesn't add value to the world. And what we see inside is a really, really precious gem. So I, I like quotes. So I'm going to quote Jim Rohn, certainly one of my favorites of all time. Uh, Jim Rohn's this guy that launched Tony Robbins. And, and may, many people may or may not know that he actually earned his millions in the 1960s by being an absolutely phenomenal network marketer. But here's what he said. The greatest reward in becoming a millionaire is not the amount of money that you earn. It is the kind of person that you have to become a millionaire in the first place, to become a millionaire in the first place. So you know what? Uh, he would also say, well, if you want to be a millionaire, just be a millionaire. Uh, do what millionaires do, and you will ultimately uh, have what millionaires have. And let's even back off on that just uh, a step. As Zig Ziglar would say, you must got to be before you can do, and you got to do before you can have. So be a millionaire. Do what millionaires do, and have what millionaires have. So T. Harv Eckerd, phenomenal books. One is called The Millionaire Mind. Uh, and so much of millions is the mindset. So you talk to anybody that, that's made it, they basically said, you know what, I had to make a decision. I had to open my prosperity consciousness. Uh, and that's really what the book Think and Grow Rich is about. So if you haven't read that yet, read it again. Probably read it every year. And maybe pick out the chapter you need to review every single month because you're going to find out there's so many uh, tools in there, so many gems in there. But the, the richest people on the planet, in, in the 1930s, all got together and said, let's create a classical manual as they dictated their story to Napoleon Hill. So T. Harv Eckerd, you know, it's not the size of the problem. It's really the size of the person that's important. And he goes on to say, you know what, if you're a size one person, something like a traffic jam can really, really ruin your day. But picture if you're a size eight person, a, a size six problem really just isn't any big deal at all. So you want to become the type of person that literally has so much abundance that you have to share it with the world around you, that you can help people through their challenges, actually lead the way. I'll show a quote later on that says a leader is one that knows the way, shows the way, goes the way. And people want to lead by example. So I'm going to use a term we don't often use in this venue, and that's the third word to hear. So Clint Eastwood had a phenomenal movie years ago called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And we try to stay away from the ugly, right? We want to avoid it. But part of us actually needs to acknowledge that there are some things that are ugly. Uh, I remember what Jim Rohn said. He says, well, I've got a glass of DX right here. He says, is it half empty or is it half full? Well, reality, it's, it's all of the above, right? And, and so we need to know that there's both sides to each equation. And we're going to spend certainly a lot more time on the good because there's a lot more of that. But then we'll share what's not as good. And maybe we'll get some insights as to how that can get better. So I like to take advice from as many successful people as I can. In fact, I really like people that have created success, not just in their wealth, not just in their network marketing, but in every area of their life, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, social, financially, impactfully. And that's the type of leadership that we have in this company. And that is also the type of leader that uh, Art Williams featured in this book is. And his book was entitled, How to Beat Talents, Brains, and Education. And he made over a billion actually building a network marketing life insurance company, which is pretty fascinating. 
Um, but he actually said, you know what? Brains can be a, a negative. And, and what he means by that is people that are smart are always trying to outsmart something, are always trying to find a better way. And you know, it's been said that progress is the complication of simplicity. So I think smart people uh, do that a lot. They complicate simplicity. So we're going to find out this is pretty simple, right? We're, we're going to share amazing products. We're going to share an amazing opportunity. And then we're going to teach other people to do exactly the same thing. And we have so many tools to do all of the above. Talent, that can be a real downside because people go, oh, I'm so talented. You know, I, I, don't, I don't have to work hard. I'm just naturally gifted. Then they get complacent. And you know what? I don't, I don't think people want to follow a complacent leader. Uh, and then education, you know, uh, you, you, you suddenly think that this gives you a, a ticket in somewhere, but it really doesn't, you know, it, it may just open one little door, but it, it's what you do when that door is open. And, and that's where you have to become a better person. But Art Williams, when he would introduce people to his opportunity, which was a long time ago, but he said, you know what, I like to teach them about all of the good. Uh, and since I like sevens, we're going to talk about the product, the company, the industry, the compensation, the timing, the support, and what I think is the magic factor of all time for your business, uh, and that's going to be you. So products, I think we know that we started out with you know, some incredible coffee, and it actually, as Edwin Haynes says, stole the show, and then we got tea, and you know, we got latte, and we got mocha, and we got hot chocolate, and then we got king of coffee, which is absolutely amazing and supreme, and then we added shakes and detox drinks and energy drinks and soap and toothpaste. And we're going to talk about how these products are so amazing, but also how being the product of the product is going to lead the way for your team to impact so many lives, so many ways, and create so much wealth. And we'll show you if you're a product of the product and you promote being a product of the product, what a difference that can make uh, in your compensation. Got to love the company Organo. You know, they, they were working on a skincare line. And often when you're working on a new venture, I don't know if you've ever done that. Uh, I have. And you know what? It's usually 10 times as much effort as you think it's going to be, probably minimum. In fact, that's what Grant Cardone calls the 10x rule. It's going to take 10 times more effort than you ever imagined. So the company Organa was creating a skincare line, and they had hiccups, and they had hiccups, and they had hiccups. But they're really good at coming through for their people, for their distributors, for their partners. Uh, and they said, you know what? Let's fix this. Let's look for a company that honors our value system, being all natural, being good to the environment, no animal testing, already has a track record of success. And then this, let's just create a win-win deal for them and us in the world. And so this beautiful line says you can just be you. And that's the starting point of it that's uh, now you know, on its way for distributors that were at Expo, they get the first release. And by the way, that's the advantage of big events. Uh, but the woman that created this is a world-renowned beauty expert. That's her beautiful daughter there. Uh, and she's got some incredible skill sets there. So not only do we have great coffee, tea, shakes, detox drinks, energy drinks, soap, toothpaste, but a skincare line uh, and a makeup line coming. So I like Jack Welch. She was actually considered the CEO of the entire last century. And he wrote a book called Winning. And here's one of his quotes from his book. He said, if you don't have a competitive advantage, don't try to compete. So what I find very fascinating, I'm a student of the network marketing industry. And believe it or not, there's some companies out there that in terms of the product, I don't really see their competitive advantage. Now, they have a nice delivery system. I guess we could call that a, a competitive advantage. Um, and maybe they have great customer service. That could be a competitive advantage. But product to product, uh, I don't always see that. But that's not the case in Organo. Our secret sauce, our magic ingredient, is the herb that you'll look at on the right. And by the way, on the left is, is a cheap uh, cut corners knockoff product that people are trying to create because Ganoderma is more and more popular. But our Ganoderma is all USDA certified organic grown in uh, an incredibly pristine uh, environment in the, Martins, in the mountains of China. Uh, and one of the things that I, I tell students of mine, because I'm, I'm a doctor and I teach doctors, 
Um, the purpose of the physical exam is actually to look at the outside of the being uh, and get insight as to what's going on on the inside. So, you know, they might look in your eyes, they might look at your tongue, they might look at your teeth, they might listen to your heart, they might weigh you. And those are all really good things because looking at the outside gives insight to the inside. So I want you to look at this. Look at that outside versus that outside. Which one is more appealing to you? Now, <laughs> I think it's universal, at least I certainly hope it is. The healthier product, this plant that looks so beautiful on the outside is also beautiful on the inside. But here's one of the things that really knocked my socks off because I studied nutrition I have for over three decades and I've taught it all over the world for a quarter century. Uh, these quality certifications, I have not seen anybody match in the entire nutraceutical industry. So our product is actually putting something in coffee uh, that we put, have a patented uh, process to do it. We put Ganoderma, the top superfood on the planet, with over 3,000 peer-reviewed medical studies on it, the highest quality Ganoderma coffee processing packaging available on the planet, and we create a treat that people want again and again and again and again, day after day after day. So we talked about the product. Now let's just for a moment talk about the market or essentially the opportunity. So as I go back to this wonderful picture, um, if you take a look at this, and I'm just going to blow that up, 1.6 billion cups, that's with a B, billion cups are consumed every day. And some of you that have seen my calls know that I, I really love this data because most people can't even fathom a billion. But this was the Earth a billion years ago. And actually, Australia was fused to North America. Now, by the way, they're many thousands of miles apart. So I just happened to fly to Australia uh, earlier in the year and, and the distance from Houston to there, 9,426 miles. So those things were fused a billion years ago. That's a lot of drift over that period of, uh, of time of, uh, ago. So a billion days ago, uh, there was actually no human life on planet Earth, but this is a reconstruction of a fossil that was around around that time. Uh, that was a billion days ago. And we look forward and we can see that this little guy, Homo sapiens, didn't come around for a long, long time. By the way, a billion days ago was uh, about 2.7 million years ago. So now we're going to go a billion hours ago, and that was actually the old Stone Age. So about 114,000 years ago, a billion minutes ago was the Roman Empire, and gladiators were fighting in the Colosseum. A billion seconds ago, President Reagan said, you know what, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall, talking about the Berlin Wall. That was certainly a big point uh, in 1987. And in fact, uh, that was the year that I actually graduated my first uh, four-year degree from college. But a billion cups of coffee ago, that was actually 15 hours ago. So I'm in the Central Standard Time. We have uh, 8 o'clock, so 8.14 roughly. So 3.14 this morning. If we just go back to 3.14 a.m., that was a billion cups of coffee ago. Absolutely amazing. When we start looking at the company, we started out maybe as an organo, you know, organoderma company. Coffee was the delivery system. But now we are a lifestyle company. and We're helping people create the absolute life of their dreams. And when you look at companies, we always have to look at leadership. So we have the three wise men, I think as uh, Black Diamond Steve Martin has consistently called them, Mr. Bernie Chua, Mr. Shane Moran, Mr. Holton Bugs. Uh, these guys have worked for over a decade to create the best opportunity I think I've ever seen in my entire life or know that I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, but then we have our new business partners uh, like Mr. Paul Caldwell there who brings in a lot of expertise and a lot of connections and, and a lot of financial resources. And so connecting with them, we've expanded our line to include skincare. We've expanded to actually have invested in a technology company. Uh, we're gonna see a new back office being rolled out very, very soon that's supposed to be as user-friendly as Amazon. 
So here's a company that leads by example. The men in the, up there were just tremendous builders, but they also realize we have an obligation to share this with the world. And if we make the right partnerships, we can do it better, faster, where everybody wins. Uh, and that's where Mr. Paul Caldwell comes in. So now we're going to look at the industry. So uh, some of the statistics, this is about two years old, but figure 178 billion, that's billion per year. I'm a big fan of the, of the National Football League. And so the National Football League, nine billion a year, the network marketing industry, 20x that. More than 2x the movie industry, all of Hollywood. More than 10x, really 11x of the music industry. So this is absolutely massive. But I'm gonna share a quote with you uh, and that is that network marketing done right should actually be stronger as an income source than the franchise system. So we look at franchising, and, and all I could find was a, a graph that showed the trends. So I don't know what happened between 2012 and 2013. I'm guessing maybe some laws changed or something different. But at any rate, franchising uh, in 2018 estimated to be $757 billion, that's with a B, billion dollars U.S. alone. So let, let's just put that in perspective. That's more than 80 times the revenue taken by the National Football League. So you know, when we look at this uh, franchising opportunity, you know, it's kind of a proven business model. But don't think you, you buy a business and you don't do anything. And in fact, it's got a pretty significant cost of entry. So here's something that I just opened up today, just for the fo focus of this call. The cost of entry varies greatly by both the segment you choose and the franchise brand you select within that segment. While costs range from less than $10,000 for maybe a brand new, not very popular franchise, to upwards of $5 million for a proven profitable franchise. And it says the majority of franchises run from about $50,000 or $75,000 to about $200,000 to get started. Now that's a franchise. You're buying someone else's business model. You have to implement their system. Uh, by the way, if you open a storefront, you know what, you're gonna be locked in to their hours, you know, so um, who knows, Let, let's say they have anytime fitness franchises. Well, anytime is anytime, so they're open 24 seven, 365. Uh, how about Starbucks? They're open about maybe 18 hours a day. What about McDonald's? Long opening hours, you can't say, yeah, I wanna do what I wanna do, I'm gonna make my own hours. No, it doesn't go that way. So you're gonna pay a lot, you're gonna buy their system, uh, you're going to work your tail off, but it's a proven model. It creates revenue. Um, but ultimately, if you get enough employees, enough franchises, maybe you get that beautiful thing of uh, residual income. So here's the five advantages from, from one thing that I had picked out about the comparison of, of a network marketing business versus a franchise. So first and foremost, you have flexible hours. So you're not locked to McDonald's schedule or Dunkin' Donuts schedule or whatever schedule you are. Uh, and I think that's one of the things that most people really, really love about this, right? You make your own schedule. You work as much or as little as you want. And by the way, does that affect your income? Well, yeah. But as Jim Rohn would say, it's not the hours that you work. It's what you put into those hours. It's the value that you add to those hours. So we have some people that are really good at adding a lot of value in an hour, and therefore the reward is pretty significant. Relatively low cost. So you know, you know our costs, you buy a website, which is good for a year. By the way, you probably get a multi-million dollar website with a merchant account. And let me compare, I had a small business website, because I have another business. I spent about maybe $3,000 to develop that website. I paid $40 a month for a merchant fee. So guess what? That's, you know, roughly a $500 a year fee just for the merchant account. When you buy our website, 50 bucks every year, you get the merchant account for free. All the electronic transactions occur pretty much seamless to you. You don't even see it happening except for real-time updates. People across the world can buy your product. You don't ship it. You didn't manufacture it. You just introduced them to it. They pay for it electronically. The company takes care of everything else. You get a deposit in your bank. That's pretty cool. So um, it says additional, uh, oh, does it say box of time? That's interesting. I, uh, da, 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 that was low resolution, but Interesting, you're gonna get more time, that's for sure. Uh, what about disputes? 
Well, uh, I don't think we handle those. I certainly haven't seen disputes in, in my small uh, organo business, which is not so small, but we have customer service that handles that. And you have a huge opportunity to help yourself and others create those businesses. So I'm a big fan of, of studying the industry as much as possible. And I listened to this State of the Union address for basically network marketing 2018 uh, and beyond. And that's where I got that quote. You know what? Done right, we should be able to generate through network marketing, just in the U.S. alone, $750 billion a year because we have so many advantages. And by the way, I was in uh, uh, Atlanta uh, about a month ago. And we were in a really quaint little village where there were little shops and a significant number of them were closed. And what we're finding out is that brick and mortar establishments uh, for baseline products are, are really going away because most people can order and have it shipped to them and they're looking for that level of convenience. So when we look at compensation, certainly our network is our net worth. The, builder, the bigger the network you build, the more solid, the more capable people within that network, the more money that you're going to make. So I really like this question. Uh, is your network both wide and deep? Now here's where Organo has created an amazing compensation plan. So there's literally no limit on how wide you can go. So when we're looking at this picture to the right, you can personally sign up as many people as you want. Now, my wife, Kelly, and I have connected to a lot of people. We're very consistent with the follow-up. Um, we live the product. We understand its health, its benefits. We're products of the product. And so we've got plenty of people that we've signed up. And we'll explain how that affects compensation. But you know, one, one person that I have to say I'm, I'm beyond amazed at is my son, Jacob, the one, my sponsor, my upline, who I uh, can easily call the best upline in the game because I guarantee you at that time, he was the only one in the world uh, that could have got Kelly and I interested in the business. He led by example, always does. But at 18, when he didn't have, let's just say, any networking skills because they hadn't been developed yet, didn't have much influence except over his peers, didn't really have any money, yet became such a great networker that he signed up more than 150 uh, in that unit level. But the brilliance of Organo's compensation plan is you sign up, you know, of that 150, you put actually 75 on your left and 75 on your right. And whoever gets in first actually has you building a big chunk of their team and everybody else that falls below. So I got reunited with someone that uh, you know, we, we had introduced to the business a long time ago. They kind of loved the product. They were really more a wholesale buyer. And then they just happened to look and oh, in that 60 years, all of a sudden more than 5,000 people were underneath them. And suddenly they realized, wow, if I had been working all along, I could have been getting rich. But those 5,000 people are still there. So if you are actually someone who's committed to building a team, the people that you introduce will have an absolutely amazing advantage. So it's been said that how uh, deep you are is actually your stability. So imagine that you sponsor someone and, and suddenly there's you know, 5,000 people underneath them. They would be kind of foolish to walk away from that. You know? So just imagine, let's say the business wasn't for you by the time you Develop a, develop a Sapphire organization. By the way, you wouldn't want to walk away from it because you're getting a lot of money, but guess what? At that point, you could potentially transfer it to a loved one that might be more interested. So someone could get a massive start on their business, but the profitability is actually the width. How many people you put in to your front line? So uh, there's an absolutely phenomenal video and a training that Mr. Holton Bugs did, the chief visionary officer, uh, on exactly the ins and outs of how this compensation plan works. And he basically said, the wider that your team is, the closer the money is to you. So you actually get paid a higher percentage on the people you directly sponsor than people that come into depth. And we'll show a little bit later of how that actually works out. So one of the goals that I was instructed to try to get with this business, and by the way, we're, we're well over the top of that, um, they wanted you to get 10,000 customers. Well, how could you get 10,000 cust 10, customers? So picture 
you know, if you actually got 10 customers, which we're all supposed to do, and then all of a sudden you got 10 team members who each got 10 customers, well, now you're at 100 customers. Well, what if those 10 people all got 10 business partners, suddenly you're at 100 business partners each with 10 customers, and transfer that down one more time, finally, when you have 1,000 business partners and customers, now you have 10,000 customers. Now, that may seem mm, kind of hard to imagine for a lot of people. Uh, my wife and I just crossed not 10,000 customers uh, today, but actually 10,000 team members today. So we share with enough people who share with enough people who share with enough people that now we're at over $10,000. Now, remember the our 10,000 customers, sorry. So when we look at being a product of the product, you know, when people love the coffee, which is almost everybody that drinks coffee, um, their average intake is gonna be maybe two boxes of coffee a month. Now that'll generate $30 commission for you, uh, for your team volume. Now if they like the soap and toothpaste, I'm gonna estimate they wash their face enough, they brush their teeth enough, that maybe that's about mm, $10 a month. Well, if they, if they love the uh, detox drink and the energy drink, which I wind down most evenings with the detox drink, now you've got more purchases there. Uh, and by the way, if you like the uh, shakes, you've got more there. But I'll tell you, we, we love the coffee, we love the tea, we love the hot chocolate, we love the soap, the toothpaste, the detox, the energy drinks, the shakes, and also the capsules. Uh, so we truly are products of the product. But let me show you how being a product of the product can make a difference to your revenue. Once you have 10,000 customers, these are actual uh, numbers, right, on terms of percentage. So we've been in the business six and a half years, and to date, the amount of money that we've collected has been an 8%, actually a little over that, uh, of our team volume. But let's also use an average of 5%. That means you're not quite as wide. And, or let's use you as narrow, where you're only getting about 2% of your team volume. Now, if you have people that purchase two boxes of coffee a month, because that's really what you do and what you promote, those 10,000 customers each purchasing two boxes of coffee, if you get paid 8% from that, because you're wide, that'll be $24,000 a month. If you get 5% with an average team volume, that's gonna be 15,000 a month, still pretty nice, right? $180,000 a year. Uh, and if you're narrow, maybe 2%, you know, you've sponsored a couple superstars and the money's a little lower for you, still, you know what? Who wouldn't wanna sponsor a handful of superstars? Maybe, maybe three people that build big, deep teams and for that, you know, they get six grand a month, not bad. And that's if they're purchasing just two boxes of coffee. But what if we throw in a few other products and we're at maybe $50 a month average for those 10 customers? Look at how that goes up. If you're wide, $40,000 a month. Average, 25,000. Narrow, 10,000 a month. 10,000 a month is, is uh, pretty good money, I believe, by everybody's standards. And then let's just get a little crazy, right? At, at $70 a month. How can you get $70 a month? Well, you know what? You, you do a couple boxes of coffee, you do a shake, you do a detox drink, you're actually over that. So we're not talking about something that's undoable. And I, I really know when, when we love the product and we promote that, people can do it. But if you're wide, $56,000 a month at that point. Uh, that's some pretty good money, right? Or even super narrow, $14,000 a month. And then let's go to that $100 a month. And by the way, uh, I'm over that myself, my own consumption, that. I drink six cups of coffee a day. I have a couple detox drinks a day. I brush my teeth twice a day. I wash my face multiple times a day. I'm gonna have some capsules a day. So just imagine how crazy that would be if people actually followed what you did and instead of using that 100 and being wide making 80,000 a month, who knows, maybe you're making $100,000 a month being that million dollar a year earner. And by the way, they're there. There are plenty of them in this business. And how beautiful is that? So sometimes when we talk about the business, a little people maybe get a little, little offended, but I like this quote. It says, it's true that money can't buy happiness, but somehow it's much more comfortable than crying in a, crying in a Porsche than in a, in a bicycle or on a bicycle. So pretty powerful statement there. By the way, I was listening to a great 
lecturer talking about wealth one time. Uh, and there was a woman in the audience that said, oh, come on, you know money can't buy happiness. And he just looked at her and said, ma'am, respectfully, I'd love to ask you, how would you know? So think about that. You know, the, the people that are saying that, maybe they don't know that uh, because money can do a lot of good. It's just a unit of energy. You give people a lot of good energy. If they're good people, they can do a lot of good with it. Uh, and that's what the leaders of our company have done. They've created an opportunity for all of us to create our best life. So when we look at this concept of compound interest, uh, Einstein said it was the eighth wonder of the world. Now, compounding is amazing. And I'm going to show you a graph of that in a moment. He says, he who understands it earns it. Those of us that understand network marketing, that understand the power of, of sharing and getting wide and teaching people to go deep, we're going to earn a lot of money. And uh, it's really an amazing system. So let's look at this graph. So if you started out with literally one penny, one penny on day one of the month, I want you to notice that it doubles. And by 10 days, we got $5, not too exciting. Um, by 20 days, we're at 5,000. That's starting to get a little interesting, right? But look at the last 10 days of the month. We went from 5,000 to 5 million. And by the way, there's a lot of months that have 31 days. So let's just double that one more time and make that $10 million. Now, here's where I want to give a little lesson on consistency. Uh, and one of my great mentors taught this. He says, you know, so you're out there every day and you're working every day and you're working every day and you're working every day. So you know what? You work 15 straight days and where are you at? Well, you're at $163. You know, that's really nothing to write home about. But at day 30, now you got 5 million. But here's what I want to ask. What if you only did it every other day? That means while the people that are consistent are celebrating and banking $5.3 million, you're sitting there with your $163 and saying, why doesn't this work? I don't get it. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Well, kind of. You just kind of forgot that consistency thing, that compounding thing, which is so incredibly powerful. So there literally is a major threshold where that curve just really takes off. And we put it to scale. And we call that exponential growth. And you know what? I really don't know when that's going to happen for you. I really don't. We're, we're kind of experiencing it right now, and it, it actually feels pretty good, right? Over 1,000 team members added this month. That feels really good, you know? Um, but my gosh, how long did it take to get us to our first 1,000 team members? Long time. You know, I don't, I don't remember. Maybe it was a couple of years, maybe a little more than that. And all of a sudden, 1,000 in a month. Things are looking good. So. I've listened to so many audios on coaching and network marketing. And, and one guy, after four years in a business, went to his, his mentor and he says, you know what? I, 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 just, I just don't see it working. You know, I'm working my tail off. I'm working my tail off. And I'm, I'm not anywhere. And you know, I'm thinking about just backing off and, and doing something else. Well, guess what? He was right here at that curve. I think I'd get a little discouraged right about there. But just think about what you just walked away from. You walked away from a fortune and a dream life because you didn't talk to one more person, because you didn't say one more hello, because you didn't share one more sample. By the way, easier than ever to share samples, right? We even have the delicious shakes uh, to share as a sample. So I love this law of compensation. It says your income is determined by how many you, people you serve and how well you serve them. So how many? How wide are you and how well do you serve them? How deep do you help them to become? And that's really the magic of this business. We have so many people you know, that said, you know what? We want to partner with you. We want to work. We want to grow. And uh, I listened to one trainer, and, and she would tell her people, she'd write on a blackboard the, these three words on the top line. I will help. Next line, you. Third line, grow your business. In fact, I'll insert a, a new slide and I'll show you exactly how it is. I will help you 
We can even blow that up a little bit. Make it bigger and nice. And then the next one is grow. And I'll make that big too. <laughs> and finally, last, your business. Now, this is kind of a magic phrase. I will help you grow your business. So, what does that mean? Well, as she would say, everything below that is your job, right? Grow, I, um, grow your business. I'm sorry. So here's how it was. I will help you. I don't like hiccups in my call, but I, I just thought of this on the fly, so I'll share it. In the middle was you. There we go. I will help, is the top line, you grow your business. And what she basically said was everything in the middle below is your job. And she also said everything above it is my job. But if you don't do your job, I don't have one. So, you know, I like to think of myself as a, as a really good sponsor, um, a really good sponsor and trying to get better every day. But literally, we have a team member that's done absolutely nothing. And some other team member prospected him. He says, yeah, I joined Organo, but yeah, I didn't get any help. And our team member said, mm, who's your sponsor? He says, it's actually Dr. Bob Rakowski. He just looked at me and says, it's your fault. <laughs> You know, there, there's all the help in the world. I mean, how in the world, how can you not succeed in that environment is what he said to him. But you know what? We'll help people grow their business. My wife, Kelly's a phenomenal uh, connector, follow-upper, and, and she just had a whole stream of reach outs where this person didn't respond to it. So recall this, you will help people grow their business, but if they don't do their job, you don't have one. And we might even say that's one of the bad things, right? We're talking about the good, but that's one of the bad things is that people get in thinking, you know, that it's maybe it's easier than it is. And we'll, we'll show how to circumvent that, how to prevent that. Prevention trumps cure. So while we're on the topic of going wide and sponsoring, we'll talk about the law of influences. So um, this is really from the book, The Go-Giver, which is so powerful. And it says, your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. Now, sometimes that's a little bit of a challenge, right? So we kind of live in a world where we do have to put our oxygen mask on first, but once we've got that survival net, we certainly want to serve others. And that's really the secret to success, right? Tony Robbins said an epiphany in his life when he realized the secret to living is giving. And he even gave when it hurt, but it was a launching point for him. So as it's been said, if you have a lot, give of your resources. If you have little, give of your heart. So now let's talk about the timing, really the timing for any job. So there's a lot of different debates about how robotics and how artificial intelligence will replace jobs. So the company IBM has a really big, powerful supercomputer called Watson. And they can take Watson and they can ask him a legal question. And within microseconds, you get an answer that's based on all the recorded case law. Now, I don't know if you ever paid for a legal opinion, but I, you know, I, I have at times asked a question for a patent search for a product I wanted to do way back when. And my answer cost me $5,000. So imagine I plug that into Watson and for 25 bucks, I got a better answer. So what is that going to do to attorneys? You know, some of them can certainly be replaced by artificial intelligence. They're actually saying that artificial intelligence can replace most doctors. They say you can wear a sensor on your wrist like a Fitbit and it can measure your temperature and your pulse and maybe even the rhythm of the pulse and um, maybe pick up some distress within your body and, and, and other things like that. And it can go into a computer and it can say, whoa, this person's got this going on. And then it'll say, this would be the best pharmaceutical remedy. This would be the best natural remedy. These are where they are. And if you push here, we can courier it to your house 
by an artificial robot, you know, in 20 minutes. So I want you to think about that. Doctor visits can be cut down pretty substantially. Medical personnel can be cut down. By the way, they're doing surgery now, robots at a distance. So gamers with really good dexterity who can work a, a, a mouse and a joystick can do microsurgery around the world because it's a robot that's being controlled to get this little spot and fix it. That might sound really obscure to some of you, but years ago I had this procedure called Lasix. I was real reluctant to it, uh, but I had maybe 20 different patients that had it. 19 of them saw 2020. Uh, the other one actually had it done in a third world country for a bargain. So I thought, okay, uh, this looks good. I'll, I'll do some LASIK. So you know what? They took a computer scan of my eye. They kind of numbed me and they had the robot go just like that in a matter of seconds after daily healing 2020. Pretty impressive stuff, right? It's coming. We want to look at support. So I've been uh, with Organo, enjoyed every moment of it for the last six and a half years. And what I can tell you is they've gotten better and better and better and better at support, at teaching, at making all available. So some of you are probably watching this live on OG Academy. And if you look, you're going to see there's a lot of resources. And whatever you want, they can have some of the best of the best of the best doing the training. And you can access it in a moment. So it literally is that one team, one dream philosophy. We have the access to everybody. This millionaire mentorship call, you know, I love sharing the platform with the geniuses that share the wisdom. And every week I'm there taking notes or on rare occasion, like when coming back from vacation or something like that, I, I will catch the replay. Um, but I, I love this Zoom format. You know, that's a step up from the phone call because we get to see and we get to interact. But here's the wild card in the support. It's actually you uh, or maybe your sponsor. So you know what? If you, if you have a really good sponsor, um, congratulations. If you are a really good sponsor, better yet. But here's one of the things I know. If you're working, if you're interested, if you're plugging in, and if you're doing your part, someone above you is going to find you and recognize you and take interest in you and serve you however you need to be served. And that's one of the beautiful things about this. And, and again, I'll give a massive compliment uh, to my wife, Kelly. She's always watching who's coming up, who's plugging in, who's sponsoring, who's growing. Who can we serve? Who can we support? And we'll get on a call with them. Hey, listen, I know we haven't met yet. I know we're three, four, five, six, seven levels above you, but we see you're really going after it. How can we make your life better? And that's what we learned from the people that share this business with us, right? Uh, all the way up to the very, very top. And I've got to tell you, straight up the top, Mr. Bernie Chua been supportive, certainly directly, of me and my family. Mr. Shane Moran, same thing. Mr. Holton Bug, same thing. Mr. Edwin Haynes, Mr. Sam Bean, and Ms. Kim Bean, Mr. Emmanuel Bernstein, Mr. Nam Do, Jacob Rakowski, all the way down, so incredibly supportive. So we love and appreciate you. So what about the support? A leader is the one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. So if you actually want to build a big team, Build a big team. If you want leaders to build a big team, you be the leader that shows them how to do that. Uh, and you know, we do have some legs of business where someone down deep is really expanded, but you know, they say the fire burns up, so everybody above gets really, really excited. Uh, and me too, right? I love someone six, seven layers deep, really lighting the world on fire and sharing treasures. Absolutely phenomenal. So uh, now let's talk about some of the bad. Um, and there's not much, but there's some, right? Every, everything's got to have a little bit of yin-yang, a little bit of this. Uh, but this is a really classic movie scene where Rocky, and I don't know if it was Rocky 43 or Rocky 44, and I'm being facetious, but he's got a lot of them, uh, was talking to his son. And let me set the context. So his son is just, he's not the kid that he knew growing up. And he's looking at me, he says, you know what? I remember when I could hold you in my hand you know, I would, I would literally tell your mother, this kid's going to be something. He's going to be the greatest version of himself that he could ever be. He's going to add value to the world as only he can. 
but somehow his son gets in this little pity party circumstance. Uh, and by the way, if you've been on planet Earth and you haven't had a pity party, um, you're probably a rare bird. You know, I'm embarrassed to say that I've had a few. You know, thank God not too recently, but you know, there's some times where a mentor had to just shake some sense into me. Uh, and that's what Rocky did with his son. And here's what he said. He says, son, somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshines and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that, and that ain't you. You're better than that. You know what? Sometimes I gotta read that to me. Uh, sometimes <laughs> some of our team members need to read it, or maybe they need one of us to read it to them. Because life is gonna hit us. And when we get hit, and we get hit, and we get hit, that's the ugly. We're gonna get hit. We're gonna get hit by ignorance. Uh, we're gonna get hit by, who knows, people that don't have really good intentions. I think really ignorance is, is the number one thing that I've seen. You know, people thought, you know, this business isn't legitimate. Come on. Why would a professional like you do a business like this? You know what? Because my ability to help the world is so much more. You know, my, my special, special niche, uh, you know, I wish I could help 10,000 single moms. You know, maybe by the time I'm done, I will. But I can't imagine what they're going through. And my wife, Kelly, and I, we're committed. We're going to help everybody, but that special niche is those beautiful ladies that are taking care of their families without much help. So hmm, that was the bad. What about the ugly? Well, here's the ugly. You ready for it? So this is Joe Willie Namath. He made a prediction. He says, we're going to win. We are going to win that Super Bowl against all odds. So Art Williams, I introduced him in the beginning, uh, became a billionaire, but when he would sit down with new people in his company, on his team, he says, I've got a guarantee for you, a 100% ironclad guarantee. And here it was, and this is what he said verbatim, most of you ain't going to make it. Now, I want you to think about that for a minute. Not the people on this call I don't believe, right? You are stepping up. You are going the extra mile. So this message isn't for you. The ugly in the industry is not for you. But it's in the industry, isn't it? You know, people suddenly think, wow, okay, this is cool. Uh, I, I think I can really crush this thing. Maybe you can. Uh, but you got to put the work in, right? I will help you grow your business. So I like Stephen Covey, his law of the farm, and I'm going I'm to share a couple other metaphors as we wrap this up. But Stephen Covey says, you know what? You wouldn't expect to plant a seed and tomorrow have a harvest. And, and there's actually four phases. And they all begin with the letter P, but we've got to prepare the soil first. So think about someone that you're trying to talk to and their mind is going 10 million miles a minute and they got a lot of stress in their world and they don't even have a, even a percentage of, of attention that they can give to you at that moment in time. You know what, that's probably not the best time to prospect. That's the time to plant a seed of friendship. That's to say, hey, listen, I, I see you got some stuff going on. How can I make your world better? How can I add value to your world? And you help them through that time. You're preparing the soil. And then when the time is right, not when the sale is not prepared, when the soil is prepared, when you have a know, like, and trust relationship, now you say, you know what? 
I've found something that I'm really excited about, and I like you a whole lot. I want to share it with you. Are you open to sitting down for 10, 15 minutes and, you know, sharing a cup of coffee and, and talking about life? That's a pretty, good inter, a pretty good intro and a pretty good invitation, isn't it? It's a little risk, you know? You've got that no like, and trust relationship. About the worst I could say is, yeah, but not right now, right? Because a uh, few things are going on. But once you plant the seed, once you get that person in, you got to protect them. You really do. Um, you know, uh, certainly we have been wonderfully protected by the entire company. I'm amazed. I, I, Kelly and I get prospected often. And I know it's coming. I'll just tell them, you know what? Cool. Um, I'm certainly open to listen to you if you'll listen to me. And you know what? It's amazing. Um, you know, people share what they think is the greatest thing in the world. And I go, well, let, let's share what we've got here and let's see how it compares. I don't think you can beat the organo opportunity. In fact, I, I just can't imagine you could. So amazing. And then guess what? After you prepare the soil, after you plant the seed, after you protect, that's when the fields will actually produce, right? Um, there's a point I like to make. Uh, sometimes people want really, really, really fast success. So Confucius said the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Second best time is now. And why didn't he say the best time to plant a tomato was 20 years ago? Second best time is now. Because a plant that produces fast fruit usually dies in that season. So here's the point. We don't want people getting an illusion that they're going to make a lot without building a foundation and a structure. And by the way, the foundation and, and structure is trust and respect and understanding and, and reverence for the product and, and what this company stands for, unity, loyalty, and dedication. So certainly we love people to make fast money. That's cool. But have that foundation of trust and respect and commitment. Really good. So Richard Branson, six startup tips. Um, number one, look for uh, new ways to deliver old products. So guess what? Coffee has been around since the year 850. It's an old product. And by the way, so is Ganoderma. This reference says 2,000 years old. It might be older than that. But new products in old ways are basically specialty coffee. And we, in my opinion, we've got the specialist of the special. And look at that rocket ship growth of what specialty coffee is doing. Single serving convenience. And so, you know, our coffee is so good that world-class athletes on a single cup can go, wow, this is amazing. I want more. So next step is to actually be proactive. And, and so I'm going to read this about proactivity. It says, your life doesn't just happen whether you know it or not. It is carefully designed by you. The choices, after all, are yours. You choose happiness. You choose sadness. You choose decisiveness. You choose ambivalence. You choose success. You choose failure. You choose courage. You choose fear. Just remember that every moment, Every situation provides a new choice. And in doing so, it gives you the perfect opportunity to do things differently to produce more results. Quite simply, when you're proactive, you see what's coming and you prevent the problems as opposed to reactive, not the place you want to be. Uh, and in terms of proactive selling, uh, Steve Martin taught me this uh, at the Go Diamond uh, retreat. You know, he says, look, I always tell him, you know, listen, buy my box of coffee, drink it till it's completely gone. At the end of the box, if you're not 100% satisfied with how it tastes and how it makes you feel, you give me the empty box back, I'll give every penny back. Uh, he said it so eloquently, and it works so beautifully to reverse the risk. So number three, move into areas where the customer is not well served. Well, I got to tell you, Starbucks built a multi-billion dollar organization because he realized Coffee shops were not creating the environment that the people really, really wanted. And that's how we really capitalized on that. In terms of shipping from a warehouse, Jeff Bezos really found a great way to serve the population. And one of the things he knows is that people will always want a better price and they're always going to want more convenience. So now we look at our organo advantages. We have the advantage of deliciousness, convenience, price over Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's, 
health advantages, wealth advantages. That's a pretty significant uh, set of advantages. And you know what, if you look at that, and all those things are true and they are, would one, one in a hundred people uh, switch to our brand? Yeah, they will, easily enough. So here's one of the things that I really uh, like, and, and Richard Branson says this, he says, review the industry and put yourself in your customers, your prospect shoes. And there's just way too many people that over promise and under deliver. And that's what I love about Mr. Edwin Haynes and, and on his millionaire mentorship call just a few weeks ago. He says, I like to tell people that this will likely be the hardest thing you'll ever do. It'll be harder than climbing the highest mountain. It'll be harder than swimming to the bottom of the deepest ocean. That rings with me as true wisdom. Um, you know, from my perspective, it wasn't the hardest thing I was ever going to do, but maybe the hardest thing I ever had to do was spend 25 years of personal development getting ready to be in a position where it wouldn't be that hard. But I have to remember that most people that I'm sharing with probably haven't made that 25 year investment already. So I love it. Thank you for that wisdom, Mr. Haynes. And Richard Branson says the first year is about survival. What does he say next? He says, you know what? Build something that you are proud of. So this was the picture that was taken uh, on the allure of the sea and the seas the moment cruise. Um, lots of beautiful people from all over the world. We made a lot of friends. Uh, we, we certainly shared strategies. We, we took advantage of that one team, one dream mindset. Uh, you know, you have a floating paradise. If you haven't been on a cruise yet, I'm going to strongly suggest um, that next year you start building your points for the next five. Now, I, I think they've made it very, very clear how you score the points. If, if you don't know that, you need to read the documents and look at that. Um, but my wife, Kelly, who's always on it, I believe that we started accruing points September 1. And then I believe the cutoff is the end of April. Don't quote me on that, but look at that. So you got plenty of time to do it, um, but not as much as last time. So they want to get everything in position. How do you get it? You know, you're on auto ship, you're a star achiever, you're a superstar achiever, you either rank advance or, or keep your rank. Um, and the more you rank advance, the more you go. But look into those things and lead by example. Uh, you know, one of the things that we do is we put in a super uh, or a star achiever order the very first day of every single month without fail. Mr. Bugs taught us about that. He taught us about mental momentum. And you know what? We've got a bunch. We've got a bunch of people that put in super star achiever uh, the first day of the month so that I, I believe we're always uh, super star achiever the first day. And some of our team members are as well. Uh, and we'll look at that beautiful cruise one more time, one more way, build something you'd be proud of. This certainly wasn't everybody from our team that we had there, but it was a, uh, some of them, right? Uh, we decided to capture a moment before going to a beautiful dinner uh, and just saying, you know what, you guys, we love you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing treasures with us. Thank you for making the world better in absolutely so many ways. And I always like to wrap it up with a, a simple, powerful statement, and it's this. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful. Good night, and God bless.